Laser assisted hatching is an important procedure which is performed typically on day 3 embryos. In this video, we will be demonstrating the technique on a blastocyst embryo. The typical indications for doing this procedure are age of the lady more than 35 years, frozen embryo transfers, previous failed IVF cycles, FSH values of more than 9 on the second day of the menses and a thick zona pellucida. You can see here that the laser pulses are being fired at the zona and the embryo begins to hatch out. It is extremely important during this procedure to be very very careful as to where are the pulses being fired for the laser. Quite a lot of centers have a habit of using a holding pipette in order to stabilize the embryo. However, at our unit with our experience, we do not use the holding pipette at all. We typically try to make the hatching done at approximately one fifth of the circumference, which would involve three clockwise positions. That means either from two o'clock to five o'clock or twelve o'clock to three o'clock in any direction. Once the hatching is done, the embryo is incubated for approximately 4 hours prior to undergoing the transfer. The second embryo is the embryo which is slightly shrunken and this is an embryo which is being hatched immediately post the thawing. This is the most effective time to perform laser assisted hatching. Here the firing of the pulses is slightly more easier as against the previous embryo because the embryo is currently shrunken. As a result of which the sodium channels in the embryo cells are not active and hence the absorption of the media does not occur to form or to regenerate the blastocele cavity. This is the time where the impact of the hatching is the maximum and as you can see rapid pulses can be fired through the zona pellucida in order to break the embryo open from the surrounding zona. Here in such embryos we are able to fire much more pulses and we usually fire till 5 clock positions that means approximately one third of the circumference is fired. Following this the embryo is incubated for the next 4 to 6 hours prior to transfer. Now we will show you the image of the same embryo which as you can see has hatched out after 4 hours of incubation. The success rates of implantation with such embryos are much higher as against the blastocyst traditional embryos.